All right. Hey guys, welcome to the new video. We are officially into 2023. You might look at me and I'm known as Mercury Guy 1 or Mercury Sedan Guy 1, whatever. It's just a nickname came up with. Don't fucking hate, okay? Well, I gotta talk to you guys about something. So, I just moved and I've been living over at my other house for three years. Now, I had a lot of Snapchat videos basically based off of one thing. And plenty of you guys probably already know what this video is called already. If, if you clicked on this video, you already know what it's about. Well, today, I am going to basically tell you my experience with the world's shittiest internet. And it's known as CenturyLink. I gotta got to put out my stress and my horrible experience with this fucking service. First of all, let me go back when we first moved to my old house. When I graduated high school, it was 2019, okay? My sister was getting ready to have a family, and of course, she needed the room. So she's like, hey, why don't you go up to, this old, to where I used to live? I'm not allowed to say it, so I'm not going to put it out there. It's basically in the middle of nowhere... With a bunch of trailers, and it's owned by an older guy named Ron. A very nice landlord. Awesome. That's the size of the point. So, I just graduated high school, and then I decided to basically prep myself to me moving from where I currently lived at the time to my new home over at this town called Blair's Mills. Now, I was getting ready to pack my bags and everything, I was getting excited and everything. Well, when I used to live at my old house, when I used to live over in Blair's Mills, before I moved to Blair's Mills, I lived in Newburgh. Now, CenturyLink was always been involved in my in my in my life since I was in high school. When I used to live in Newburgh, we always had CenturyLink internet, and the damn thing was not only the fucking shittiest; it was so goddamn slow. I always had problems where I couldn't fucking upload Facebook. I couldn't fucking live stream, and I couldn't play online. So I was already having a bad experience with the shitty internet, how much of a piece of shit it is, and let me tell you more about this shitty service and how it got to the moving part. Well, I was moving to Blair's Mills, and I just and then we decided to move, and then, because we thought my sister was having a family. Well, we moved. We went to the new home, we started, seeing, we started getting stuff prepped and organized and everything. And once again, we end up stuck with CenturyLink because when you live in the middle of nowhere, especially where I was located, there is no phone service. None. Not at all. Okay? And then we had other services like, uh, what the fuck's it called? Um... I should have thought this shit before I started this fucking video. We had a uh, huge net. Well, because I'm a gamer, huge net is not rated for gaming. So if you try to game on huge net, you're still getting shitty fucking connection anyway, because it's ran off of satellites. Okay, that's besides the point. So we end up stuck with CenturyLink, and then we got CenturyLink. We finally got our boxes moved in. We had everything organized. Everything was pretty much prepped and ready to go. Then we finally got internet, and then for the last few weeks, it was alright, not too bad, still slow, but not too bad. But then we started going into the few months of living in Blair's Mills, and then, before you know it, the fucking service started taking a fucking shit like there's no tomorrow, okay? And what's pissing me off about this fucking shit is that I was trying to fucking play my game, and that's the one thing I look forward to when I come home from work, okay? I work warehouse. I've been doing warehouse since I was graduated high school. And I look forward to coming home to a relaxed evening and just enjoying my my few hours to myself before I have to go back to work. Okay? Well, CenturyLink is, like, beyond the shittiest fucking service I've ever fucking dealt with. First of all, we requested to get the most powerful box they can offer. Okay? The box was rated at 200 megabytes. You would have thought that was fast, right? No. You're dead fucking wrong, first of all. 
It is not fucking fast. It's a piece of shit. And let me tell you something. I've dealt with CenturyLink for not only two years in fucking Newburgh. And it still, it fucking sucked then. And then I went to move to Blair's Mills. And guess what? It was a piece of shit up there too. So, a couple things that happened was. I couldn't fucking load Facebook. I couldn't fucking uh, live stream. Because that's one of the things I like to do on my Facebook at the time. I like to live stream on my Facebook. Couldn't fucking do that. Because the fucking connection was so shit. And then when we did fucking upload shit, it took 15 minutes. And it's supposedly rated at fucking 200 megabytes. And thirdly, there was a little couple occasions, guys, where the connection was so shitty, it would not allow me to make phone calls. Now, what the fuck kind of quality of CenturyLink where you name your shit, welcome to the world of high-speed, reliable internet from CenturyLink. What the fuck do you call this? Okay, first of all, why do you call you guys fucking reliable for the three years I lived in Blair's Mills, plus my two, which is five years dealing with your bullshit, CenturyLink, where you would call yourselves reliable, and you fucking say how your shit's fast, but yet, there was a couple occasions, and I'm not making this shit up, okay? I had a couple occasions where I had to download some files to, to mod my shit. Because I, I like to mod certain games. It was a 500 megabyte, not gigabyte, megabyte file. I had to fucking download on Google. Uses your internet, okay? I went to check how fast it was downloading. The box is rated at 200 megabytes. Just a reminder. I went to go to the, the, the yeah, speed, how much it's fucking uh, producing its speed. Your download speed, Centrally, was literally a less than a megabyte. Now, how the fuck is that fast? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me, Centrally? You call one gigabyte fast. Are you fucking kidding me? You call that fucking fast, Sentry Dicks. That's what I call you. I call you Sentry Dicks because you're a piece of shit and I fucking hate your internet. Well, get to the point, okay? I live in this fucking bullshit for three years and there was a couple occasions where it would not fucking work. It kept buffing. It kept going out. And there was a couple occasions where I couldn't make fucking phone calls. And mind you, if you remember, there's no phone service. So if the fucking internet goes out, we we're fucked. So if we would have had a house fire or some sort of emergency, we couldn't make fucking 911 calls, Sentry Dicks, because your fucking shit would not work. And you made a fucking tell me that you call this bullshit fucking fast and reliable. But yet we can't even do the simple things like Facebook and post shit and fucking make phone calls. Now, explain that to me, Sentry Lang. How is that fucking reliable? And how is fucking you going to rate your garbage fucking 200 megabytes of fucking speed and yet you can't even fucking download a fucking 150 to 500 megabyte file without it being like less than a megabyte of speed. That took literally, I am not kidding, fucking almost an hour and a half to download a 500 megabyte file. Really? You call that piece of garbage fucking fast, Sentry Dicks? I fucking hate you, Sentry Link. I always had, I always will. I'm gonna buy your fucking shit ever again. And I don't know why anybody would fucking buy your piece of fucking shit. It's so fucking slow. How is your shit reliable? How? How is this piece of fucking shit always fucking call yourself reliable? How the fuck do you call yourself fast in the process? It's fucking slow. It's a piece of Fucking shit. I always would never recommend your fucking shit. So I was dealing with your fucking after three fucking years, Sentry Dicks. And it's not one time I've ever had one day where it was ever going the fuck out. We went through two routers. And that's another thing. We went through two routers in the three years I lived there. Because the fucking shit either kept buffing or it kept going out. Or, last but not least, it would not allow us to make fucking phone calls. What kind of piece of shit does not allow phone calls? Isn't that the most basic shit you use the internet for any fucking way? You can't allow fucking phone calls? Because this, not only is the biggest piece of shit I've ever fucking dealt with in the slowest, there was a fucking little box down the fucking street where I live, Sentry Dicks, where it said, big, high voltage service equipment. Really? Heavy equipment? 
high voltage and service equipment my fucking ass. And then you charged us $150 a month for this piece of fucking shit? Really? You you literally want to charge a fucking fortune because your piece of fucking garbage is not only fucking reliable, it's not even reliable for shit, and you want to fucking claim yourself fast. 200 megabyte is still fucking trash. You can barely do anything with 200 megabytes today. It fucking sucks. Everybody fucking does work at home. My sister works at JLG. She works through the computers at her house. She had to get rid of your fucking service center dicks because it fucking sucks. It's too damn slow. And you call yourself reliable and fucking fast. Are you fucking kidding me? You call this piece of shit fucking fast entry dicks? You you want to go around and advertise your shit saying fast reliable internet from Century Link? People like myself who actually ex actually literally took the time to literally not only get five years of your garbage, but learn that your advertisement Century Link is a fucking false bullshit ass lie. You're such a piece of fucking shit. I don't know why anybody would ever fucking buy your shit. It fucking sucks. I have never had any internet server that was so fucking shitty and so damn slow. I can barely do simple shit. I play low time games like Minecraft. And most of the fucking time, Century Dicks, you literally forced me to play it offline because it's so damn shitty. And there was a couple of times where I played online, it lagged like a motherfucker. And that doesn't help to play online because the only people I fucking play with Century Dicks is my fucking brother. And you mean to fucking tell me you won't even allow two people out of the four, because there's four people living in my house, to play on your shitty internet. Without the fucking shit lagging, or it crashes, or it starts buffing, or it kicks me the fuck off. Are you fucking kidding me, Century Dicks? This is what you have to offer. Your most powerful box is 200 megabytes, but yet my experience, and it's not a fucking bullshit ass lie either, Century Dicks, okay? I'm telling you, from my personal experience to deal with your piece of shit, I've always hated your service since the fucking first six months I've experienced with this piece of shit. I've never had. Any service that was such crap like yours. And why do you go around and you make people make videos and re and reviews how your shit is so fucking so reliable and so fast. But yet in the background, you're paying them to say this shit. Really? You have to pay people to basically set out there a fucking lie because you don't want to admit your fucking shit is garbage. You're really going to have to pay somebody to basically put out a lie on the internet to basically see how your shit is five stars when really it's half a star. It's a piece of fucking garbage. It's not fucking reliable. It's not fucking fast. It's a piece of shit. And I never, ever would ever recommend your fucking shit. And throughout the years of me doing my Snapchat with your piece of shit, I've always said I would put out a video saying... Do not go to Central Lake, because Central Lake is not only the fucking slowest internet you could possibly fucking have, it's not reliable for shit, it can't even fucking allow somebody to fucking do his job or her job at home, because it's so damn shitty and it's so damn slow, I don't know why you guys call yourselves reliable. I even looked on the business borough, Century Dicks, where you want to go around and you literally had over 4,000 complaints about your fucking shit being so damn shitty. And then I looked in the morning to talk about your complaints. You would literally send people bills in the mail after they cancel your garbage. Even after they cancel your bullshit. You're still sending them bills in the mail like they still had it for another two to three months. Are you fucking kidding me, Sentry Dicks? You really think I didn't do my research about your fucking piece of shit. And how your fucking shit is not only the fucking spoilers, and it's not only a fucking piece of fucking garbage, you want to send people bills in the mail even after they cancel your bullshit, because it's so damn shitty and such a piece of shit, you literally have the audacity to still send people bills in the mail. Even after they cancel your shit. That's how you know that you're desperate for money, and in the next 10 years, your shit's going to be bankrupt, because it's a piece of shit, and it's never going to be reliable, CenturyLink is all for people that have really bad income.
And not ever will I ever recommend this fucking service to anybody I know. And that's why I'm making this fucking video, Century Dicks. Because your internet is not only garbage, it's fucking slow, it fucking sucks. And deal with this piece of shit between living in Newburgh and living in Blair's Mills. And you mean to fucking tell me you call this fast and reliable. It's a fucking lie. That's what the hell it is. It's all a fucking lie. It's all a fucking nothing but bullshit. And it's not only bullshit, it's also a fucking fraudulent fucking agreement. You're stealing people's money and you're committing fraud by saying, oh, well, when you called to cancel your shit, it was not filed. There's a reason why phone calls get recorded, you dumb, my, you dumb ass motherfuckers. This shit gets recorded. How the fuck can you say how it was not filed when they recorded your phone call saying it was canceled? Like, really? Really? With your piece of shit. Not only that your fucking representative's garbage, but your fucking internet's garbage. Your reliability is fucking lies. And then you want to go and some people with the bills in the mail even after they canceled it, and that's the only excuse you can come up with. Because it wasn't filed when you called to cancel your shit. Really? That is such, not only fucking cheap, but it's also a bullshit ass lie. You're trying to scam people into thinking that, oh, I thought I canceled this piece of shit. With that, you're still getting bills in the mail. There's, you're, you fucking scamming people is also on Fox News. You, you really think I didn't see the shit on the fucking YouTube? I've seen videos and reviews how much you're a piece of shit, and then you want to go around and still pretend and lie how much your piece of shit is so reliable so fast. You had a way for people to pay for your shit just so then you can prove a point after you lie. After you lie to people's faces, they're loyal. People have to pay your shit. You had a lie. That's how you lose customers, you stupid sexy like dickheads. That's how you lose customers. But not only committing fraud, but to also lie. You lie out of your ass to get money because you're such a piece of shit and you know you're losing business because people are catching on to the idea that your fucking shit is a piece of dog shit. Why do you, why can't you just be honest with people? Why can't you just go around and tell the truth that your 200 megabyte bullshit or less is a piece of shit and you need to upgrade your truck, you need to upgrade your shit. If you want to have people buy your fucking garbage against Central Link, instead of you lying and calling yourself fast and reliable, why don't you get a box that actually is reliable, that's actually fast, and not pretend that 200 megabytes is the most powerful box in the world. Because really, it's a piece of shit. Because that's what I had. I had a 200 megabyte fucking router. And the damn thing couldn't even handle the most basic shit. Because it fucking sucked. It fucking sucks, dick. It fucking slow. It's such a piece of shit. I don't know why you fucking have to go around and call yourselves fast and reliable. But yet, you can't create a box. That can't produce, not even, with download speed, not even a megabyte. But yeah, you're calling this fucking piece of shit 200 megabytes. What a fucking lie. What a lie. What a bullshit ass lie you had to fucking put out on your fucking list. There are so many people I know at my job, Century Dicks, that hate your fucking shit. People don't even fucking know. Because I'm a security guard. Okay, there's so many people that I meet at my fucking job that tells me all the fucking time how much you're a piece of shit and how fucking Xfinity should have bought your fucking ass. At least with Xfinity, you can get so much more reliability, have a faster router for less a month. But yet, you want $150 for a piece of shit, fucking 200 megabyte lie of a router, when really, you can spend less for like 600 megabytes. 600 megabytes to me, Century Link, is faster and three times more reliable than your most powerful lie of a bullshit ass router. You're nothing but fucking lies, you're nothing but a piece of shit, and you're nothing but a fucking rip up of a fucking company. I don't know why anybody would buy your shit. It's such a piece of garbage. Why can't you just put some money, if you have the money to rip people off Century Dicks, why don't you take the money that you scammed and make a better router? 
or you can go to jail for fucking fraud. You piece of fucking garbage. You're nothing but bullshit ass lies. You're nothing but a fucking scam. And I don't know why anybody would ever want to fucking buy this bullshit. It's such a piece of shit. And I wish I had my old router sentry dick. I'd be smashing it with my fucking hammer right now. If I had the fucking chance, I'd be smashing this piece of shit. And I've told you in my fucking Snapchats that I will be making this fucking video to prove a point. And let me tell you something. I am fucking glad I am. I have the right to fucking speak my fucking opinion when really my opinion is fucking facts. I guarantee you there's people all over the internet who search how Central Egg is a piece of shit and they're going to see this fucking video and they're not only going to laugh at the fact that it is fucking true that you are a piece of fucking garbage that they're going to agree with me. Because you are a piece of fucking shit, and you always have, you never always will make a better router, and it's a piece of garbage, you rip people off, and you fucking charge too damn much for a 200 megabyte piece of shit. And there is no fucking way, Central Link, I'm ever buying your shit again. You can take the fucking service and shut up your fucking ass. You can do that for so many days out of the week, and I do not miss the fact that after three years of dealing with this piece of shit, okay, I finally got away from your garbage. I have Xfinity now, and you can kiss my fucking ass. You can show that piece of shit, 200 megabyte bullshit ass live, a fucking router, and the scams, and your bullshit ass fucking bill of $150, and you can show it up your fucking ass and go fuck yourself. How about that, you rip off of a piece of shit ass company with your bullshit ass fucking representatives that lie to people of why the shit was not canceled when they called to cancel, and you give a bullshit ass fucking ex uh, excuses that it wasn't filed. Well then guess what, motherfucker? Why don't you fire those motherfuckers that don't know how to put in shit in their fucking computer? Why don't you fire the stupid bastards that is represented with your piece of shit to file when they cancel. Why don't you fire these fucking pigs? Because there's a reason why the people are having problems. Because you got these fucking pigs working for a piggy ass fucking bullshit ass company that loves putting people off and not giving a shit. So guess what, Central Link? After I got rid of your fucking company and I moved to a different location... You can take this fucking service and go fuck yourself, and I hope you chuck on it. You're an absolute piece of garbage, and I'll never recommend your shit. People are going to look at this video and say, man, this dude's really telling the truth. He ain't fucking lying for shit, because what's the point of lying like you guys do? What's the point of lying where well, you can tell the fucking truth? The truth always weighs more powerful than fucking lies, where your bullshit is always lies. Your advertisement's bullshit, and what else is bullshit? Your much you fucking charge a damn month. All the everything that represents Century Dicks is a fucking lie and a scam. So guess what, Century Link? Go fuck yourself. I would never ever tell anybody to buy your shit because it's all lies and it's bullshit, and you can go fuck yourself. Never again would I buy your garbage, and I recommend to throw it in the fucking garbage, and you throw your company down the toilet, and then you can do one more thing. Take your fucking shit and shut down. Shut the fuck down. That's what you should do. You should shut down your bullshit, take your fucking lies, and your bullshit ass rip off of a fucking bills, and your bullshit ass excuse with your piece of shit representatives, and go fuck yourself. Can you do that for the company? Can you do that for everybody else around you that has to deal with your piece of shit? Yes? Thank you. Now go fuck yourself. You piece of shit ass fucking dumb ass fucking representatives. You got a piece of shit name. That's why I named you Century Dicks. And every fucking time that we fucking need your shit, you always dick us and tell me I need your fucking service. 4,000 people hate your fucking garbage, and I won the 4,000. And I guarantee you, Century Dicks, that one of these days, people are going to sue your fucking shit, and you can't afford the court your, the court costs, and then you're shut down. And I hope you fucking do. I hope your shit gets fucking bankrupt. Fuck you, Century Link. Fuck your garbage, and that's my fucking story. Finally, left my fucking stress out with this piece of shit. Fuck you, Century Link. Never again. You can suck my dick, you kiss my white ass, and go fuck yourself. Fuck you, you lying piece of shit.